All right, back to work on the 50cc um, Taotao scooter. Uh, so I wanted today to go mess around on some wheelies on these things because I get a lot of comments about the stock 50cc scooter wheelies. I have a few videos where we wheelie the scooter stock already um, and just kind of explaining it. And can you wheelie a scooter stock? Yes, it's so much harder, obviously, than the 150 because you don't have that power to get it up, but it's still possible. It just matters on how you use the power and where you balance everything like that. So. Right now the scooter is kind of falling apart, um, mostly because I took it apart up here in the front and I haven't really put it back together. So I think I'm just going to take the headset off the front right now um, and do the handlebar like delete pretty much. Um, the thing with this one though, if you notice, it has the uh, kill switch and everything and the starter and all those buttons on the actual panel itself. If you look at my scooter, my scooter has it in the throttle um, housing. So that's why it's so much easier with mine because I can still control it up there. So this one I'm gonna have to run switches down here um, to solve that issue. So I already unscrewed this thing for those of you who ask how we get do the handlebar look. Um, this is what it looks like stock. I can get it together, it's like completely half on. It's like barely on right now, literally. Um, this is what it looks like stock. You have the headlight up here and you have the speedo back here. Um, I kind of want to go with this look on this scooter. It was going to keep it stock, but it just, it's just so loud and noisy and it's just like another thing in the way. So, uh, especially on a scooter, I'm going to be stunting. I kind of don't want anything loose and jiggling around and everything like that. So this is what it looks like when you delete it. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to do that again. I might have to think of somewhere better to put the headlight because I don't really like it right here and it broke off a few times, but I don't know where else I could put it on this one. I was kind of thinking maybe put the headlights inside of here, um, change these bulbs out and make them uh, prominent headlight bulbs, but I don't know if it'll be bright enough. Side screws down here, there's also screws from underneath, and then it kind of just pops out. Um, be careful, because it, it is flimsy, it breaks so easy like everything else on the scooter. But, okay. let me set the camera down, I'm going to snap it off right now. People would do this for like weight reduction. It really doesn't save that much weight. Obviously it's gonna save some weight, uh, but nothing too crazy. You know what we might do? I might put everything in a box and actually weigh it after to see how much weight we take off. All right, so I just got the kill switch out. So now I can at least just have the kill switch in hand right here. And then everything else can just pretty much just be unplugged. This is will be eliminating pretty much everything on your whole cluster though. For those who want to do this, uh, I don't run a speedo, I don't run a fuel gauge, all that stuff. That's like the nice stuff to have goes away. So just be minding that when you're doing things like this. People do this and then they, they regret it and they cut wires and stuff like that. It's like, you gotta, you gotta pick your poison. Do you want it to look really good or be really functional? Dude, it's crazy that these clips on these scooters are so flimsy that like, they literally are sun dried and just like crack me just taking off these clips right here. But on the Honda ones that the clips are 10 years older, maybe 15 years older and they don't break. But on that note, boys, we're not using any of this. Cut them all on the even length so they don't touch. Oh, my bad. Obviously cut these things off, these are deadly, but you could mount a light bar there. Just depends on uh, what look you're going for, I guess. All right, so I just unplugged the cluster and all that mess. I have this, what I'm gonna have to uh, put a switch on real quick. Just, uh, I'm gonna have to get eventually like an on-off switch because this will stay on. Get an on-off switch, not like a stay-on switch. Um, and I can run that starter button, uh, get a different kill switch in there. Uh, this is all the cluster stuff. I can cut this back and I'll, I will with the wires and I'll make my own wire loom. I'll show you guys how I do that. Reason for this, this cable is kind of heavy actually. But just stuff like that that you could take out. Uh, maybe like five ounces, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. But I think I'm gonna throw everything together 
when we're done and I'll weigh it all. I already threw some of, some of stuff away, but we'll weigh it all. Mirrors, everything like that. So should be kind of interesting. Not sure if I'm gonna be running this bearing. I don't on my scooter. As you can tell, it looks like this in the front. But I don't know if I want to go the same exact look. So I might actually run that fairing. Forgot I had this. This came with my forks for when I bought the 89 Elite, um, the stem. And it had this like uh, light bar mount. But looking at it, it looks like it bolts up to the forks on these scooters. It pretty much looks like it'll line up. If not, I can make it work. And I might be able to run like a little light bar down here instead. And do that look. That might look pretty good. It works, it's just the battery's not that charged right now. Alright, she runs, I'm about to put the GoPro on and go mess around with some leaves on real quick before it gets too dark out. Hopefully she stays alive. Almost kind of want to bring this in the seat, but... Might as well, right? There's no guts when you open up full throttle on this thing. I almost forgot that 50cc life, man. Let's see if we can't pop it up a little bit, though. Oh, man. This thing's weak right now. There we go. A little 50cc. It's been a while since I got on the 50 for some wheelies. If you want me to do another how to wheelie on a 50, let me know in the comments. That's with both feet on. I'll do one with uh, one foot off and show you. Dude, it's so cold that my, my hands are dry. So like yanking this hard on these hard grips is like actually ripping my skin. All right, here's a foot off. So you gotta give it some gas to where you're picking up when the power's there. That was a good one. Damn, it smells good over here. Someone's like, has a fire pit going or something. There we go, boys. Back on the 50 action. We used to do them on the seat when I first learned, like, like that. <laughs> oh, man. See, I hate, if you say you can't wheelie a stock four stroke 150, or a stock four stroke 50cc scooter, I really just don't think you're trying hard enough. <laughs> that thing rips, bro. I love the 50s, man, they're fun. I actually forgot that even on the tandem scooter we have the bar strip. This is without the crossbar, this is with the crossbar. I don't know which one I like more. I like mine a lot with uh, the pro taper piece on it. It looks pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to do it on this scooter. I might leave it blank and make it look more like this one. This one's like super bare. So it looks kind of cool like that. I think I might run it like that. Just to get that look, um, what I'm going to do is just take an angle grinder and cut this off. Um, cut all these brackets off. The last thing you want to do is like hit your face on one of these or uh, hit like, you know, fall forward, hit your stomach on it or something. So. Cut those things off. Uh, that means I'm gonna pull this brake lever off. I need to get a new brake lever because this one's uh, cylinder shattered. So I'm gonna go and 
just take this one off, throw it away for now, and uh, I eventually gotta grab a new uh, front brake. Probably get like the ones I have on my my scooter as well. I'll leave a comment what you think. Should I get rid of the bottom fairing and make this one like no plastics at all, make it like a real stunt bike, or can I keep it stock like stunt bike, no 12 bar? I keep going back and forth on it, but once I took the handlebars off, I, st I started thinking more and just making another stunt bike completely. <laughs> when you go paint them now, sand it all down because these grinds are pretty thick. So sand it all down, respray them black, and should look pretty good. Like I said, I don't think I'm gonna run the crossbar on this one. I think I'm gonna send it with the, the stock look like that. Put the good brake levers on it. Anyways, brackets are off. We got the naked bar look now going on this scooter. So just gonna order some brake levers and uh, everything like that. And it's time to start getting this thing ready and clean up, boys. Um, Leave a comment on this video. Let me know what you guys want to see done these scooters. All right, I need something stronger. I'm gonna use this whole box, and I'm just gonna zero it out. We're just gonna take off whatever we add and stack everything on that because it'd be a whole lot easier. So, I'm gonna raise first. so with the box, 13.6. We'll do it twice just to make sure. Still there. All right, cool. We even put the speedo cable on there. <laughs> it's only 17.4. So that's only saving like 3.8 pounds, like four pounds roughly. Um, if you were taking off the bottom fairing and the front fender like I did on mine. Um, oh, well I guess we can add the horn in too. Um, plus the horn. Maybe we'll weigh everything at the end again. But uh, for now, we're saving about five pounds, I would say, um, taking off the whole front uh, thing. So it's not a lot, but it is, if you think about it, in the front, I guess. You That's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys like the 50cc scooter wheelies and uh, like what we're doing with this thing. Do check the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one.